I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. Well, it's Christmas time, as you can yes. tell. Boom! Still wearing Boom. Our, our bling. And, you know, <laughs> Star Wars time too, so I mixed the two. Uh, we have another good IPA. I know it's stout season, but they're still making good IPAs, so we thought we'd try another one. Uh, and this is Citra Double IPA from Kern River Brewing out of California. And it's 80 IBUs and 8%. So looking forward to this one. Um, Let's get into it. Yeah, sounds good. It's got a nice, nice amber, amber color. Amber orange color. It's See, opaque, but yeah, I mean, you can, it's still translucent. Yeah. I like the, the lacy, I mean, look at that. Oh yeah. That just laces to the glass. That's a nice head. Yeah, it looks beautiful. All right. <sighs> oh, I forgot yeah. to mention Citra and Amarillo uh, are the two hops used, so it's gonna be good. Yeah. You can tell too. Oh my gosh. Big juice, juiciness. Yeah. Orange. Mango. Tropical fruits, just sweet tropical fruits. All the tropical fruits. I mean, I, I don't get, uh, so we just did a grapefruit. Mm -hmm. One was really strong grapefruit, Nelson Sabin. And this, this is more of a balanced, and you can tell it's well balanced as far yeah. as the, the tropical fruits. Mm. Oh man. It just smells, yeah, juicy, treat, juicy, sweet tropical fruits. Yeah, this is going to be awesome. A little bit of pineapple, uh, mango, orange. I get tangerine. Tangerine, too. yeah. A lot of orange, tangerine. It smells wonderful. Yeah, I can't wait. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. That just, the flavor matches. I mean, that's. It's not too bitter. I mean, 80, I, I would have probably guessed maybe 70. I, just, it doesn't taste as bitter as I would expect 80 to taste, but all the tropical flavors to match the nose. I mean, this is just, this is phenomenal. This is great, yes. Everything that mm -hmm. we mentioned in the nose as far as the tropical uh, aromas translate into the taste. And it's juicy. It is juicy. And it's creamy. I don't know if it's the carbonation. I'll get a little bite right at the front. Is it? Do you get I that? That's the carbonation. That's the carbonation. Yeah. I just get this bite. I mean, it, it feels like a carbonation kind of burn on your mm. tongue, but it's kind of cool. You hit that, and you're hit with these big, juicy explosion. Pineapple, mango, orange, and then bitterness on the and back. And then the bitterness on the back. Yeah, I've and then seen. it's mm. got a nice um, malt backbone to it, and it's mm. it's noticeable. I mean, I, it's not like it's invisible with some of the big right. IPAs where it's just. Citrus, citrus. You do get a little. You do notice that maltiness. Yeah, I agree. Not that it's overwhelming. I mean, it's sure. great balance, but it's there a little, a little more than. Well, and you expect that for a double too. You expect yeah. to get some of the malt from it, and you probably need to um, to make it a double. Mm. Oh yeah, that nice smooth bitterness. Uh, mm. That is really really good. smooth, really good. Oh my so what about mouthfeel compared to the one we just had? I feel like the mouthfeel is not quite as creamy and smooth. But it's a little thinner, but it's still still super still good. creamy. I mean, it's what you'd expect compared to like you know some of the APAs or IPAs that are more more kind of like that hop water where it's just yeah. this is <laughs> that's right. This has definitely got a creamier mouth feel that mm -hmm. backs it up. It's not all yeah. it's not all hops and, and water. There is no some doubt. creaminess to it. I like it. I like it a lot. I do too. Hmm. Hmm. So we didn't say what the uh, rating on it was. Uh, do you know what the untapped rating is off the top of your head? That's okay. big. I was gonna say I, I would. Gosh, I, I'm between a four seven five and five. I, I, I'm four seven five. It's gotta be. This is well done. I'm gonna go four seven five as well. Yeah. Um, the untapped rating is four five two, mm. which is big for. Yeah. That's, it's just big period. That is good. Um, it is borderline uh, uh, five. I'm gonna stick with four seven five though. I think, which is a top tier beer for me. So oh, well, yeah. Uh, Pay extra, seek this one out. I love it. I love it's it. Worth a lot. it. Man, this is really good. Uh, anything else? No. As always, if you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks.